Easily the best loaf in the city. The best loaf in the city so far. I'm here in the beautiful area of Paris, Saint-Germain-des-Prés. I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video. So today is Monday, which means the Vaculamento à Paris is in seven days. I wanted to try and make a video a day telling you guys about a little, a little journey to the uh, to the race. So yesterday's theme was uh, enjoying the journey. Um, I'm sure you can understand why. to kind of support you guys are right here. The theme for today's video is maintaining intensity but reducing volume. It's the last week before a race, so you can't do anything to make yourself fitter, but you definitely can do things to make yourself less fit by like overtraining. So that's why today's workout is. Track workout. Oh, did you guys see the, ah. Ooh, probably one of the most beautiful tracks in the city you're gonna find. So, today's workout. Three by one mile, that's 1600 meters for you metric folk. And then four by 200 meters. The one mile will be at tempo pace. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping if I could run four, 540 per mile, that would just be that would be perfect because that's it's just about race pace, a little slower than race pace. So if I can do three by one mile at tempo pace, two minute rest between each, four by 200 meters at mile pace, that would just be fantastic. And I know what you guys are thinking, Jake, this is like the prettiest, this is like the prettiest thing. But let me tell you guys, that is not the prettiest thing out here tonight. No, it's not me. It's actually, yes. Oh my God. My new, sexy, beautiful, sweet, loving, caring, caressing Nike Zoom Streak LT4s. Yeah. There are many other things I want to say about this shoe, but it might be slightly inappropriate to say on this channel. These are my racing shoes. I'm going to test them out tonight. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go. <laughs> First one is done, and honestly, I felt terrible. Terrible is wrong. I didn't feel amazing when I started. I just ran that in 540, like exactly. This track's like 376 meters, so it's not a full track. And I did, I did the mile in 535. Feel great. Taking a two-minute rest. Pretty happy with that. We can. Oh, sorry. It's better. It's so much better. Like I know. Somebody has to do it. Number two is done. I ran that in 5.31. So I'm running in lane eight or lane six or on the outside. So I think it's like a full 400-ish, right? Cause the whole thing. So I guess I'm, I'm getting a little faster, but I don't want to go any faster because race pace is basically 5.30s. So in race pace is basically tempo pace. And this is, a, this is tempo, tempo pace. So we just want to do tempo pace. 25 more seconds of rest. Be really good. Have I told you how oh, just perfect and amazing and sexy and genteel these shoes are? Nike, about that sponsorship. All right, I'm all finished. Um, remember how I said I wasn't gonna do the last one faster? I accidentally ran faster. 525. I know, I know, I know. A little too fast, but it's okay. I didn't push it. I felt I was within myself. I didn't like go redlining or anything like that. I ran, but it was, I feel I feel so good. I'm sorry. It's the shoe's fault. Nike. Oh, I'm so. Mm, oh, you made me go faster than I I intended to. Ooh, so bad. Now the bummer is that I have like six more days until the race, which means I can't like run fast again until the race. Let's do the 200s and then I'll explain the whole like little taper thing. I think you guys will super enjoy it. Um, 200s. Not bad. They're shutting the track down.
All right, so to briefly and concisely summarize what a taper is, what's this reducing volume but maintaining intensity? So Jake, what's a taper? The whole taper philosophy actually came from the swimming community and kind of drifted over to the running community. But the idea is this, in the weeks leading up to a major competition, about two weeks before, you start to reduce or taper the volume down but maintain your intensity. The idea, which has been proven like scientifically is that by reducing the volume but maintaining the intensity you allow all these awesome physiological kind of um, rehabilitations and adaptations to occur that make you super recovered for your big primary race so most pro marathoners might have like two big races a year and they they taper and they peak twice a year right so boop, 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 and they peak and they go down the specific adaptations that occur are like awesome after a period of like one week of a taper they found that type 2a muscle fibers actually like get bigger because more uh, intracellular fluid goes back into the muscle tissue so there's like more explosiveness blood volume increase blood plasma creatine kinase like the marker for muscle damage decreased following exercise they found that after a period of a one week of a running taper a 5k time decreased by three percent and even running economy and efficiency increased as well so like the, so basically at a speed speed vo2 some max vo2 max decreased and so did caloric expenditure so basically after a period of a taper they got better at running because you're just more fresh right if you want to put it like in general terms i'll link the research to all that stuff below and then i also made a cool video here bing, about why you need to take a recovery day so that's what a taper is that's why it's beneficial and then now it's like like how do you do it. So, and that is kind of like, it's up to, it's up to you guys. There's a few different ways. The, the classical way is about a two week taper and you do about an 85% reduction in volume. Let's say, say it's a hundred miles a week or you can even do a hundred kilometers. Like I know the miles and kilometers aren't the same, but just using a hundred as an example. So basically I normally run a hundred miles a week, every week throughout the whole year. And so two weeks before the race, I'll drop it down to like 90. And then one week before the race, I'll do like 85 right and so then like the week of the race you only run 85 miles and then you have your race and so there's your taper some people like to stretch that out so it's like a three-week taper super gradual what i'm doing right now this week is a one week a hard taper and that's because ugh, like last year for my marathon when i ran that 252 i think i did too much of a taper i was doing maybe like 90 miles a week and i think i dropped down to like 50 over two weeks and i just felt so blah it just blew. And like when the race came, when I was on the starting line, I just felt like blah. And I just, so I want to try one week. I'm going to drop it. So last night I ran hard. Today, Tuesday, I'm actually not running. It's like really weird for me on a Tuesday. And then I'm going to run Wednesday. I'm going to run Thursday. And then I think I'm going to take Friday off too. What? I know two days off in a week is like super strange. But I'm going to do it. So two days off this week. But the key here, I reduced in the volume, but I'm maintaining the intensity. Last night at the track, I did three by one mile, normal tempo pace. Usually that session would be six by one mile. So I chopped the volume by half. Same intensity, same pace. That's not changing, just reducing the volume. So with the tapering, it's up to you guys. See what works for you. You can do three weeks, you can do two weeks, you can do one week. You could do a small taper, like only 10%. You could do a big taper, 20 or 30%. I'd say try it out and see what you feel comfortable with. Or some people like don't even like to do a taper. I read somewhere that like Ben True, he's like one of my favorite US distance runners. Uh, he, he's like, you know, I run 105 miles week in, week out, all year round. I never take a taper. I just run my races because I'm amazing and I'm Ben True, blah, 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 blah. He's just like this amazing athlete who can like run 1301 5Ks like they're going out of style, which so whatever. Ben, if you're watching this, what's up? We should like, we should go for a run sometime. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. We've got Six more days left until the race. The 20 km de Paris zut de la. Okay, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Oh my god, I can't even describe how nice these feel. Oh, they're so light.